Hi guys, welcome back. In this section, we will be starting with the Power BI data visualization. So the first thing that we need to do is first check and see if our BI connector is still running. Okay, just make sure that it is still running. That's important. So we'll minimize that. And now we can open Power BI desktop from the start menu. So we just search for Power BI and then select Power BI desktop. Okay, and then we can just close this dialog. Okay, now the first thing that we need to do before we start creating any graphs is we need to create a data source. So our data source will be our MongoDB collections. So now we need to connect to MongoDB. So we will locate the get data uh, drop down and click that. Okay, and then click on more. Okay, and then select other. And then we select the ODBC and then click on connect. Okay, so as you can see, it located our system DSN that we have created, which we called Mongo BI connector. So let's make sure that that is connected, is selected and then click on OK. Okay, so we managed to connect to MongoDB successfully and now we have our database which is Quake and let's click on the drop down arrow and now we can see our three collections that we have created using our data pipeline scripts. So now we can select all three of them and here we have a preview of how they look like and then select load. And now Power BI will, collect, will connect to our data sources and then load them so that we can use them to create the dashboard. Okay, so if you look on the right hand side, under fields, you will see that the, our three data sets have been imported from MongoDB. So let's just make some space. Okay, so if you click on the drop down, you can see all the fields for each data set. Right? Okay, so we have successfully created our data source that we will use to create our graphs as well as create our dashboard from. So thanks a lot for tuning in. I'll see you guys in the next video.